I don't know if you listen to Joe Rogan, all those folks, they kind of um, are doing something interesting for MIT and, and academia. They're shaking up this world a little bit, like podcasting, because comedians are paving the way for podcasting. Yeah. And so you have like Andrew Huberman, who's a neuroscientist from yeah. Stanford, friend of mine now. Yeah, I know. He, he's like into podcasting now, and you're into podcasting. Of course, you're not necessarily podcasting about computer science currently, right? Yeah. But th that, it, it feels like you could have a lot of the free spirit of the comedians implemented by the people who are academically trained. Who actually have a niche specialty. Yeah, yeah. And, and, then, and then that results, I mean, who knows what the experiment looks like, Yeah, but that results me being able to talk about robotics with Joey Diaz yeah. when he says, you know, drops F-bombs every other sentence. And I, the world is like, I've seen actually a shift within uh, colleagues and friends within MIT where they're becoming much more accepting of that kind of thing. It's very interesting. That's interesting. So you're seeing, because I, okay. Because they're I, seeing how popular it is. They're like, Well, you're Wait really a popular. I don't know how they think about it at Georgetown, for example. I don't know. It's interesting. But I think what, what happens is the popularity of it combined with just good conversations with people they respect. It's like, oh, okay, wait, this is the thing. Yeah. And, and this is more fun to listen to than a shitty Zoom lecture. Yeah about their work. Yeah. And it's like, there's something here. There's something interesting. And we don't, nobody actually knows what that is, just like with like Clubhouse or something. Nobody's figured out like, where is this medium take? Is this a legitimate medium of education? Yeah. Or is this just like a fun? Well, that's your innovation, I think, was we can bring on professors. Yeah. And, and I, know, I know Joe Rogan did some of that too, but, but you know, but you, your professors in your field. Like, yeah, you bring exactly. on all these MIT guys who I remember, you know, well, that's been the big challenge for me is I don't, is I feel, uh, I would I would ask big like philosophical questions of uh, maybe people like yourself that are like really well public, like, so, so for example, you have a lot of excellent papers on, uh, you know, that a lot has a lot of theory in it, right? And there is some temptation to just go through papers and I think it's possible to actually do that. I haven't done that much, but I think it's possible. It just requires a lot of preparation. And I can probably only do that with things that I'm actually like in the field I'm aware of. But th there's a dance that I, I would love to be able to try to hit right, where it's actually yeah. getting to the core of some interesting ideas as opposed to just talking about philosophy. Yeah. At the same time, there's a large audience of people that just want to be inspired by like, by disciplines where they don't necessarily know the details. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that are like, hmm, I'm really curious. I've been thinking about pivoting careers yeah. into software engineering. They would love to hear from people like you about computer science, yeah. even if it's like theory. Yeah, but, but just like the idea that you can have big ideas, you push them through and it's interesting, yeah. you, you fight for it, yeah. Well, there's some, uh, there's, what is it, computer file and, uh, uh, number file, these YouTube channels. There's uh, there's channels I watch on like chess, exceptionally popular, where I don't re I don't understand maybe eighty percent of the time what the hell they're talking about because they're talking about like why this move is better than this move. But I love yeah. the passion and the genius yeah. of those people and just overhearing it. Yeah, I don't know why that's so exciting. Do you look at like Scott Aronson's blog at all? The yeah, settled optimized. Yeah, yeah, it's like hardcore complexity theory, yeah. but it's. There's an enthusiasm, or like Terry Tao's blog. I mean, a little bit of humor. Yeah, right? Terry Tao has a blog. He used to. Yeah, he would. Oh, he uh, and it would just be, I'm going all in on you know. Here's the <laughs> new affine group with which you can do whatever. What I mean, it was just equations. Well, in the case of Scott Aronson, he's good. He's able to turn on like the inner troll and comedian and so on. He, yeah, he's, he's he keeps the fun, which is the best of. And he's a philosophical book. guy. He wrote yeah, that. that he turns book on philosophy. Yeah. Yeah, so you know we're exploring these different ways of communicating yeah. science and, and, and exciting the world.